Hello. In this Java tutorial, we are going to learn about Boolean expressions and how to use them with equality, relational, and conditional operators. First, let's discuss what a Boolean expression is. A Boolean expression is a mathematical expression that can evaluate either true or false. This one evaluates to true. This one evaluates to false. One of the many things we can use Boolean expressions for is inside an if statement. For example, if we say if 3 is greater than 2, then if this Boolean expression is true, the code inside these curly brackets will execute. If it is not true, it will skip the code inside the curly brackets. First, let's talk about relational operators. Relational operators are either equals or not equals. So if we say 3 equals 2, is checking to see if these two are equal. When checking equality with primitive types, we use double equals. This is different than single equals, where it, one is set to the value of the other. We only want to use double equals with primitive types. There's another way to check equality with objects that we will discuss later. The other equality operator is not equal. This expression is true because 3 is not equal to 2, so the code inside the curly brackets will execute. The four relational operators we want to know about are greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to. If we do 3 is less than or equal to 2, this is a false statement, so it will not execute the code here. We often use Boolean expressions in conjunctions with variables. For example, we might say something like x is less than or equal to 2. Next, let's talk about conditional operators. Conditional operators allow us to combine two or more Boolean expressions into a compound Boolean expression. For example, if we said x is less than or equal to 4 and x is less than 3, then both of these would have to be true to execute the code inside the curly brackets. Since 5 is not less than or equal to 4, it is not even going to check the second part. This is called short-circuiting. This can be important in situations where the second part of a compound Boolean expression might cause an error. For example, if we had 5 divided by 0 is greater than 3. This will cause a crash because we can't divide an int by a 0. However, since this first part is false, it's not even going to check the second part, and the program will execute without error. On the other hand, if the first part is true, it will execute the second part to check if the second part is true to see if the full expression is true and this will crash with an error, arithmetic exception error, divide by zero. We also have an OR operator. OR will check if either OR is true. So for example, we could say x is greater than 3, OR x is equal to 10. In this case, it won't check the second one because the first one is true. Since only one of the two needs to be true, it won't check the second one. Again, this can help us in a situation where the second one will cause a crash. Since the first one is true, it doesn't bother checking the second one and just executes the code inside the brackets. On the other hand, if the first one was not true, it has to check the second one to see if either of them are true. And of course, this will cause a crash. So remember, for AND or OR, we can have a short circuit situation where the second part of the expression is not evaluated because it isn't necessary. For more information on equality, relational 
or conditional operators, check out Oracle's website. You can get there by typing in Summary of Operators Oracle into Google and clicking on the first result. To see the next video, please click on the video in the lower left hand corner of the screen, or to see the entire curriculum, please click on the video in the lower right hand corner of the screen.